Right after making this fantastic fettuccine bolognese, I got a request from Magnus asking if I could make cacio e pepe. What the heck is that? Well, it's based on my favorite ingredients, pasta, pepper, and cheese. Cannot be better than that, right? Before we start making our pasta dough, rather than using a countertop, then you make a well with your flour and then you drop the eggs and whatever and then you mix the dough. Well, if you break the well, what's going to happen is that the liquid is going to escape. So if you want to avoid this, use a pastry bowl. It makes your life so much easier. So for my homemade pasta dough today, I'm going to use two kinds of flour, all-purpose and durum with semolina, along with farm eggs, olive oil and salt. Once combined, transfer over your countertop, form a ball, wrap up, flatten into a slab and chill to relax. During this time, the water will be absorbed by the flour and the gluten strands will relax, giving a strong and pliable dough. Now, the fun. Set up your pasta machine, clamping it to your work surface. Though, roll out the dough first with your rolling pin and fed the pasta machine. Turn the dial to the widest seating. Make a large rectangle and fold one side of the piece into the middle. Then fold the other side over that to form three layers, as if you are folding a business letter. Repeat these steps five more times. Wrap up and chill to relax again. Once your pasta dough has relaxed an hour or so, flour your work surface, the dough, the spaghetti attachment, split in half, go ahead and enjoy yourself. Look at that. Unbelievable. Nope, I am not making Betty spaghetti doll. <laughs> Once done, flour them and leave them out to dry a bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to take care of the peppercorns. Use the one you prefer. For me, I'm going to use the green peppercorns. What matters the most, it's the taste. No effort! A light pressure. <coughs> The aroma, it just gives you a hint of what it is going to be like, taste like, and look like. Now, I'm going to toast this. In the meantime, bring water to a boil and season with a dash of grey salt. Since cacio e pepe recipe calls for three ingredients, it's got to be the best. That's why I'm going to use my homemade spaghetti. Pecorino Romano and crushed green pepper. Ooh la la. Before throwing my spaghetti into the boiling water, I'm gonna chop my Pecorino Romano. Isn't it supposed to be grated, by the way? When technique meets satisfaction. Now I'm gonna pre-cook my fresh pasta and it's not gonna take that long. I'm gonna use some of the hot water to infuse the pepper and smooth out the cheese. It's gonna end up so beautifully that you will never go back to the old-fashioned way. Now, after two minutes, if using fresh pasta though, or nine if using dry spaghetti. Transfer to the pan and finish cooking ladled out more pasta water as needed. Then the cheese mixture and continue to cook until pasta has absorbed most of the cheese. The key here is to end up with al dente pasta coated with the sauce. To get this full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. For now, please subscribe, like my page on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram at Bruno Albuz. <sighs> this is this is incredible.
Mm. Buon appetito. Ciao, ciao.